It's no secret even to me that being a woman is expensive. In fact, it's estimated women spend more than $1,300 a year more than men for the same products, more than $100,000 over a lifetime. And why? Because of something that is called the pink tax. That's where women's products like razors, deodorant, shampoo, even pens cost more than the ones for men for no reason at all, except that they're marketed to women, often in pink. But there's another kind of tax that makes life more expensive for women, too. And this one you might not have heard of. At least former President Barack Obama hadn't back in 2016. It's the tampon tax. I have to tell you, I have no idea why states would tax these. I suspect it's because men were making the laws yeah. when those tax were passed. And this is just one more example of it, which I confess I was not aware of until you brought up to my attention. And I wasn't either, but we need to keep paying attention. I'm serious about this. 35 states still charge sales tax on tampons. Thankfully, Massachusetts is not one of them. But let's break it down. The average woman spends around 2,535 days of her life menstruating. That's 12 times a year for 40 years, give or take a little, and spends between $70 and $120 a year on menstrual products, according to the nonprofit tax free period. That's $28 to $4,800 over a lifetime. Women can't use public benefits to buy them. They're not included in flexible or health spending accounts. And they aren't covered by health insurance or Medicaid. So for those who might be, I don't know, homeless or living paycheck to paycheck like Nicole Johnson, that leaves a truly horrible choice. Do I buy food for my child or do I get my sanitary needs? It's demeaning. It makes you feel very um, sad. No one should have to experience that. And Nicole's right. Everyone should be able to afford period products, and the added sales tax only makes that harder. But if that doesn't convince you, maybe this will. The states that do tax menstrual products also have some other odd tax-free offerings. For example, in California, no tax on chocolate bars, but yes on tampons. In Missouri, bingo supplies are tax-free. In Georgia, it's tattoos. In Michigan, donuts. And in Maine, pudding mix. Pudding mix. In the interest of time, I'll stop there, but you get the point. The tampon tax is discriminatory. Repealing it is the least lawmakers can do. And thankfully, 22 states are on the right track and have proposed bills in the last year to repeal it themselves. But we can do better. Make menstrual products not just tax-free, but outright free for all, period.